today we are going to have a guest, the new R&B artist, Scotty. It is such a pleasure to be on your show, even though I have Tourette's Syndrome. It's really hard for me to sing and everything. SHIT! And like, I'm so happy to be on this Jakey show because this is like the top news show everybody's been watching. Yeah, I'm proud to... Um, I'm proud to have this show, but about you, can you do live performances with your Tourette's? Maybe like later in the show, because like I'm getting nervous and I'm like, oh, my shit! So like maybe later in the show. Okay, that's good. So how did they get your albums when you record? Like, okay, like, um, I go into a recording studio and I sing and then whenever I have my outbreak, just cut it out and have me sing that part over and then they do the same thing when they record my CD. Like with loud albums, like I just lip sync and like sometimes I break out and people are like, what the fuck? Okay, um, so what's it like having shirts? Is it hard to go to the store? Or? Yes, like I was in the grocery store the other day and I picked up some eggs and was like, big, 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 shit! Like I dropped them everywhere and just started cussing and people were like looking at me like, what the fuck is he doing? I'm sure it's very hard. What about school? Did you ever cuss in school? Did you? Well, like it didn't develop until like I got my degree in like R&B music performance. I have my own studio, which is pretty hard to accomplish at a, year, a young age. I'm 17. Shit! And like it's really hard to like do it with Tourette's. And like if my career doesn't work out, then I'm going to be um, a physical therapy or physical therapy. Okay. So what about? Religion. Do you go to church or do you believe in God? Yes, I'm a Christian. Shut up! Oh. Sorry, I'm sorry. This is like really hard for me. Shut up! <laughs> Bitch! Bitch! And like, I'm so excited because like my religion, I believe in God and everything, but it's kind of hard to be an R&B artist and like not cuss and stuff. And like from where I have this Tourette, it's really hard. That's interesting. So, when do you... Perform live? Do you ever perform live? Well, I perform live sometimes, but it's like really shit hard for me because like I had Nicki Minaj with me the other day, and she was like, "Please do not tread out on me because this is a big money. Like we were doing it for charity, mm -hmm. and like it was really hard. And like she was singing, um, what's that song called by Nicki? She's like, it's not good or anything. She was like, how how do you do that? She, I was like, fuck you, fuck you, Nicki, and like. I was just cussing all, all through the stage and like we didn't get any money that night, like at all. So, do your fans ever stop cheering because they understand that you have Tourette's of course? Well, I don't get many live concerts. Everybody views my CDs and they view my music videos online and it's really hard sometimes. Well, how many views do you have? Are you well, I'm kind of in the top 100, but I'm like at the fucking bottom. Okay. Shit! Um, I it's like a... Is this a problem because like I know everybody in the audience is like laughing and like I don't want to try to make a big scene or anything. No, no, you're okay. Um, so how many albums do you have out right well, now? Well, currently right now I have one album, but I'm working on a new one. And how many songs are on that album? Five. That's good, that's good. I feel that you are an inspiration to a lot of the artists. <laughs> because you have Tourette's and you go out and you make five songs dealing with your Tourette's and go to charity concerts even though you have Tourette's. Like I plan on my new album to like do 15 songs, but that's a really hard step right now. So it's not going to be out until next year. Okay, that's good. Do you, do you ever feel like going into schools and talking about? Well, like I can't go into a school because like them little kids are like really annoying. And I don't know, I have a definitely Tourette outbreak on them. And like if I take medicine, like it makes me real sleepy and I can't sing or anything. It just feels like a fucking fuck. <laughs> like really, I can't go in schools or nothing. Okay, so um, do you ever get questions like out just walking around? Just do you ever get any questions? Do well, you get tips? like people like really look at me weird. And one this one person was like, "Do you remember?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm all right." And then I was just like, "Tourette now." And I mean, he like ran in fear. Okay, that's. I feel really bad, but it's still good that you're overcoming the Tourette's and you're actually doing what you want to do. So, how do you feel about that? Um, can you repeat the question? Like, I, how do you feel about, like, what do you think about com 
overcoming the threat, do you, is it hard? Is it, I mean, how, how would, if there, if there's another young artist out there that had threats, what kind of tips would you give to them? Well, we would definitely be working on albums together because it's really hard, and I feel bad for people that have threats, and there's no cure for it. Okay, that's, that's very good. I'm but I've come a long way from, like, being a nerd and then being a popular R&B artist. That's, well, see, I think that, well, I just, I'm speechless of how brave you are to overcome the Tourette's and come on my show in front of millions of people and overcome that you have Tourette's just to be on our show to get more hits because I'm sure that you can't make much money right now because of your Tourette's. Like, I am so thankful to be on your show, Jakey, and like, with my money that I'm making, I'm donating to the science committee to make a cure for Tourette's. That's very good. That way, because you understand what it's like to have Tourette's, and nobody else does. I would, I would imagine it would be horrible to have Tourette's. But like, once you get used to like everybody looking at you, where it doesn't affect you at all. Yeah, just flip them off and get on with your day. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. So, about working with another person with Tourette's, what what would happen if? They're always having outbreaks so every time you have one, so you can't really get anywhere with the song. Well, like, whenever we do recordings, we don't sing at the same time. We sing at separate parts, like, in two different rooms. Okay. That and then we mix sense. the soundtrack together. Okay, that makes sense. It's, it's very good that you decided to donate your money instead of spending it all to yourself. Just to... <laughs> Shit! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. Oh, it's okay. My channel will clean it up. Where you go? I don't know, but are you ready for me to do live? If you want to do live, go ahead and live. Go ahead and do live. And the new R&B artist, Scotty. What's my name? What's my name? Shit, what's my name? Yeah, baby, you got me. It ain't no man. Daddy! And put your arms around me. Back and forth. Shit! Go to a commercial now. Hopefully, Scotty will be better, and I'll see you after the break.